Hey YouTube, Johnny here. Second video, second contest entry. Still smoking my Mario Grande poker with uh, Bob's Best Blend. Yeah, I got from Sarge. This is a video response uh, to Working Orange Clock's 100 sub contest. And what he wanted us to do is relay our uh, our favorite concert story. And my favorite concert story stems from my uh, summer internship when I right before I graduated college that I did in Japan. And and I went to Japan for my for my college internship and I was an adventure programming intern uh, for the Navy in Yokosuka, Japan. Well, every year, man, ah, still there. Every year there's a big concert in Japan called the Fuji Rock Festival. And it is a three-day mega event. Well, I found out when I was there that most of the security for most of the concerts and bars and things are done by servicemen and expats because, well, we're bigger than them. And, uh, and so I was able to take about four days off and actually go work security for the Fuji Rock Festival and it was it was an absolute blast um I see some of the names that were there Neil Neil Young was there Eminem uh, Tool System of a Down uh Lonis Morissette Exhibit uh on and on and on and uh I actually, I'd never been to a concert uh, up until that point. I mean, graduating all the way through college, and I'd never been to a big concert before. And I remember the uh, the day shift was like 15 hours long. But if you agreed to work the night shift, which is like techno tent, uh, you showed up about 10 o'clock at night, and you worked till 5 in the morning. So then you could still sleep through the whole morning and uh, and then be up and watch all the shows and be on stage and everything for the rest. I got to be on stage with Eminem, Lonis Morissette. Got to meet her. She's really cool. And uh, anyway, and then uh, did security, you know, at, at the tent. And most of the tent was like, uh, imagine Pipe Friend CHS's kind of music, or techno, DJ, dance club kind of music. And uh, one of the nights we're sitting there, we had a we had a strict rule. MTV was there. Of course, I'm in another, you know, in another country, and uh, with a strict rule, we could not touch. We could touch, but we couldn't like get into altercations with the Japanese uh, citizens because uh, bad country relations, bad press. Uh, we could usher them off, but <clears throat> if somebody got violent with us, we, you know, we we could restrain them, but we couldn't retaliate. So we had, it was been very clear to us. So one night I'm in the tent and it's me and another guy and we're sitting there between the stage and everybody's having a good time. They're beating a the bitch ball around, comes up, we'll you know hit it back and we're having a good time and we're watching this one guy, he's in the first second row. There's a barricade fence right in front of us. And uh, we're watching him. He is uh he's got a little vial and he is snorting something the whole evening. And I don't know you know, I'm not completely well versed when it comes to narcotics and drugs, but I don't know if it was cocaine, if it was, I don't know what it was, but uh, he, uh, he at some point just wigged out and he just, I mean, he went into convulsions and he, from a standing position, this fence came up to about, you know, my stomach and uh, he just jumped it from a standing position and took a face dive over this thing and landed right at our feet and came up just blood pouring from his face, right? Pouring. And uh, so we're trying, our job was to kind of usher him off to the side so he could go back around to the back. Well, he didn't want to do that. He wanted to crawl back over the fence and he started fighting us. And we can't fight this guy. We, we, we just can't. So I look at the guy, and we didn't really even have to communicate this. Kind of the same thought at the same time. We uh, we looked at each other, 
And I know what was on his mind was the same thing on mine. I've been watching this guy do drugs all night. He is pouring blood from his face. I don't have a fucking clue what this guy may have. What kind of diseases or whatever. He wants back over. By God, we're going to do it. So we took him by the seat of his pants. Both of them grabbed him by the seat of his pants. Back of his shirt collar. And we launched him back into the crowd. And, uh... I was a good time. I had a really good time. But what a blast. I mean, it was a first concert event, and it was a mega, mega event. And, uh, well, that concert, that's definitely my uh, my most memorable memorable moment. I actually had my security shirt signed by Alonis Morissette. She was really cool, nice as she could be. She was about all of four foot ten, hair down her ass, you know beautiful girl beautiful woman and uh just as nice as she could be to every everybody around her eminem not so much but he put on a hell of a show and he's also man he can't be any more than five three i mean he is a short short guy i'm not tall i'm about five nine five eight five nine but he was like uh, you know he came up about my my mouth my nose so but uh awesome experience i uh, appreciate you giving me the opportunity to relay the story and uh, congratulations on your 100 subs. I uh, take care. Appreciate the haikus, buddy. Bye.